Karma Speed shirt alert. You guys are gonna like this one. We have the Diamond T in military green. We have our classic enjoy the ride hang tag. We've got our neck tag right there. Super simple. This is the back. This is the front. After installing the supercharger, we ran into some issues of the car slipping on the freeway. We got a new clutch from ACT today and we install it. I'm gonna give you a little bit of an insight of what it's like to install this. This is, I've never pulled a transmission out before. It was a lot of work. I had to have some friends come over. I ended up putting it in and out a couple times. I figured out that this MT82 transmission in these Mustangs is one of the largest physically manual transmissions ever made. So it makes it a huge pain in the butt. I'm gonna go over some of the ways to get it out easier and things that will help you basically get it done and tell you what I learned from it and what I learned the hard way. This isn't something that I recommend doing on the ground. I recommend you finding someone like me with a cousin who has a lift or a friend or just pay someone to do it, honestly. This is one of those jobs that's not a lot of fun, so let's get into it. The, AC the ACT clutch is, oh, it drives so good. Since it's a twin disc, it does drive or it does feel lighter than stock. Yes, lighter than stock. That is the perk of a twin disc clutch. It's the move. I love the guys at ACT. They always take care of me, and I do believe in their products. I have their product in my Subaru. I have their product in the Mustang now, and I absolutely beat the crap out of it, and it doesn't get mushy, soft, the all, just, it, it does what you want it to do. The torque capacity for this clutch kit that is linked in the description is 891 foot-pounds of torque. If you wanna be quick on the street, this should be plenty. And to have that much capability as far as power to build up to and still have a really light pedal feel, it's something not to just let go in ear and one out and out the other. It's it's really, really convenient and really, really easy to daily drive. It acts like a race car, it drives like a daily. <laughs> This, this is good. I love glasses, thank you. Unscrew the shift knob, take off the shift boot. There's three little tabs. You're gonna press on them very evenly. Super careful, pull them out, and then we're gonna disconnect the battery. Whenever you touch the starter and things like that, we just wanna disconnect the battery to be safe. Lift the car up in the air, get the cat back exhaust off. Luckily, I have my dad here to help me. It's always fun working on stuff with him. We don't get to work on cars as much as we'd like, but we're working to make effort to make that happen more often. So hopefully we can get him in more videos soon. We're gonna take off the drive shaft. Not too hard, just takes a little bit of time. I don't go too in depth on how to remove this or install it because it is a handful. It was my first time and I did struggle with it pretty hard. So bear with me for this first time we're doing this. The next car, I'll break it down a little bit more in depth. Make yourself familiar with the wiring harness around the car. We remove this catalytic converter on the passenger side of the car. Remove some more wires. We got the transmission out. Whoo, that was tough. The most important thing with this install is not only just having a lift to make your life easy and make it doable, it is this tool setup exactly. You've got your 3 8 ratchet, an extension, a really long extension, and a wobbly right here. And then whatever size socket you need, I think it's around a 15 millimeter, I can't remember. But this is crucial to get to those bolts on the bell housing that you cannot reach. When you lower the transmission, you can stick this in over the top and get to it and you can kind of like stick your hand in from the other side and position this to get it on there and uh, get those bell housing bolts off. So I bought 
a set of really, really long extensions from Harbor Freight just for this job, so you have to do that. There's no way around it. Quick interruption between the install, Karma Speed. If you don't know what that is, it's a brand I created for you. It's for this community. If you're car crazy like me, you're a part of the community. If you enjoy the videos, no matter what, if you just like building confidence in the garage, trying to make the harder things easy, just wrapping your head around cars in general. I have some cool gear. If I could ask you to do anything, please pull up Instagram on your phone right now while you're watching this video. Follow Karma Speed on Instagram. That way you can stay up to date with new shirts, hats, any sort of gear coming out, I have some other things in the works, some resources for you guys for modding your cars, as well as maybe some things to save you some money. That's my biggest push for this year, so if I could have your support with that and just follow Karma Speed on Instagram so that you know when new things come out, that would mean the absolute world to me. Let's get back to the video. Pulling off the pressure plate, then we're gonna pull off the flywheel. Once you get past that, we're gonna remove this pilot bearing. I had to get a bearing puller from Harbor Freight as well as a bearing driver set, sealing bearing driver it's these flat pieces with a little handle on it and you can hit it with a hammer tap it in i took my time with this you don't want to mess this up and you want to make sure that it sits flush in there anything that could go wrong with this bearing it's not in there perfectly and it causes excess wear we've got the shims to put on the flywheel to make sure everything lines up perfectly there's recommended specs for that and they send it to you with that already set up so we just want to make sure all the shims are intact tighten up our flywheel we're going to clean it off with some contact cleaner once more all the clutch plates come with grease you're going to put the grease on the splines so that the transmission has no problem sliding in as well as the alignment tool slide this guy in put our alignment tool in make sure everything's okay then we're going to get our floater plate here in a second that has a certain way that it goes in there and you'll see when you unbox it and everything like that we're going to put it in bolt it in torque it down to spec put on the second clutch plate and then the pressure plate on top the pressure plate is the yellow piece we're going to tighten this extremely evenly a couple half turns at a time in a star pattern around it just like a wheel you would do for lug nuts you want to tighten this down evenly as well it's even more important and then we dive into getting the transmission back in thanks to brevin and matt for helping me out I had a really hard time filming this. It was so new to me. I've never taken a transmission out. It was honestly awful, <laughs> uh, but you can do it. I promise. If I can do it, you can do it with some help and some friends. You can figure it out like I did, um, but I want to give you a basic, really, really simple, dumbed down version of how we got this transmission in and out as far as the bell housing bolts. This thing uh comes out relatively easy but going back in it would not slide all the way on it would get hung up at the pilot bearing in the center it wouldn't want to the shaft wouldn't want to just push into it and so we had to do what they tell you not to do which is to use the bolts to suck it to the motor and we use these two guys right here back and forth about a half turn at a time so we got in as close as we could if you have a, it's, I, I did it one time where i put the transmission on this car and it just went in no problem all the other times it wouldn't go in it would get hung up by like an inch and once you get it into that close you can use these two bolts to pull it in very very carefully so you're going to go left side half turn right side half turn left side half turn like no more like take it as slow as you can it took forever but eventually it pulled that transmission and mended it to the motor and then i could put the rest of the bolts in so that should help you and i wanted to let you know that i did that because it was a huge pain and i don't want you guys to run into problems like I had with this because it was awful. Art by yours truly. Other than that, I didn't really have too many issues. It's pretty straightforward. If you watch enough videos, have some help and just learn. Uh, get your hands dirty. If I can do it, you can do it. Uh, this is really, really intimidating. I was super intimidated, but once I got done and got through all the issues, it took way longer than I wanted it to. But once I was all said and done driving the car again, it's a wow. Uh, this this was difficult with how big that transmission was and now I know if I go into any other car project after this transmission pulling it from the motor new clutch job no problem that was not me prior to this I had zero experience so now I have full confidence in getting it done if we have the right tools lifts everything like that should be no problem and that's what it's all about I was scared went for it and I was so thankful in the midst of it I was like I don't know if this is worth it and I started like kind of panicking a little bit 
and uh, just pushed through, worked out. So I encourage you guys to do that as well. It worked out for me and I know it will work out for you. Thank you.